Hi, welcome to the Digital Signal Processing IIR filtering uh, project. Uh, today we are going to demonstrate um, a blood pressure measuring technique that involves using a, a normally operated uh, cuff here, as it appears. And then we have a pressure sensor that will measure uh, real-time uh, arterial pressure. And then uh, a microcontroller, which is Arduino on, uh, Nano, uh, for data acquisition. So um, the process is uh, inflating this cuff and then deflating it slowly and measuring the small oscillations uh, in the blood pressure that uh, correspond to uh, uh, heart pulses uh, using IIR filtering as my colleague Raj will explain shortly and then after that we can calculate or estimate the uh, systolic and diastolic pressure. Now we'll see how to measure the blood pressure using the software. So this is the blood pressure cuff and we have four windows in here. So this window corresponds to the unfiltered data and this window corresponds to the filtered data. So the raw data uh, is in this window, which is then passed to an IIR filter of second order, uh, which smoothens the data. Right now, the axes are from zero to three and the noises, uh, the peaks that we see here are mainly to the noise. On the bottom window here, we see the instantaneous sample rate. We can see that uh, this signal oscillates around 25 Hertz. And this is because we took a sampling rate of 25 Hertz in our case. Coming to the final one, these are the pressure differences. And these uh, readings are the pressure differences between two successive blood pressure readings, which are then uh, filtered via another filter, which is a bandpass IAR filter. And the whole filtering is done in real time. Now we shall inflate the blood pressure uh, cuff and we shall measure uh, the blood pressure readings here. Now there are two blood pressure readings that we are interested in, the systolic pressure and the diastolic pressure. So the systolic pressure normally occurs around 120 and to observe that we would inflate our cuffs to a pressure around 200 and we shall deflate from that point onwards up to a pressure below the diastolic pressure which is an average of 80. So we will go uh, below a pressure of 30, uh, around to a pressure of 40. Now we shall inflate the blood pressure curves and observe the corresponding readings in the graphs. Now we have inflated up to 200 and I shall deflate it slowly. Around 100, we will observe the mean arterial pressure and we can observe the peaks around this point in the pressure differences. We can see that these peaks corresponding to the uh, pulses that um, uh, Raj Hart is doing here. And now as we are away from the area of interest, we shall deflate it completely. And then we can close the windows to observe the blood pressure. Thus we see that our that the blood pressure here is given as 130.936 and 80.039. Okay, so we now have a blood pressure of 130.936 and 83.039. Now an average human being has a blood pressure of 120 by 80 and these readings are very close to the readings uh, that an average person has. Now these differences may arise due to the uh, different, I mean, due to people being different and due to them being have uh, them having different blood pressures, and aside from the fact the the blood pressure also varies from time to time, so that is also a factor, and these are personal factors. However, the other factors like the which would, so far, it may also depend on the sensitivity of this pressure sensor. So this pressure sensor uh, measures the pressure in psi. And the conversion of PSI to MMHG is a very sensitive operation. 
and so to further improve the the accuracy we can use a better pressure sensors which have more sensitivity and can better detect the changes in blood pressure in mmhg thank you